you show me how you'd open the bonnet and tell me how you check the engine has sufficient oil? To open the bonnet, we come to the driver's side and we're looking for the catch. It's down here. Pull it towards you. It's quite stiff, but you'll hear the bonnet pop. Once you've popped the bonnet, come around to the front of the car. And just above the Suzuki badge, there's a catch. Stick your hand in and you should feel it. The stick's up here. Unhook it and then it goes into this white bit here with the arrow. Come on, I'll show you. Just into there. This is your dipstick. Take it out and wipe it clean with a cloth. Put it back into the same place and then when you take it out again, you should be able to tell where the oil is as the marker will be between the minimum and maximum. If you do need to top up with oil, it goes in there. Can you open the bonnet? Tell me how the engine has sufficient coolant. This is the engine coolant. Check that the fluid is in between the full and the low markings. Can you open the bonnet and tell me how you check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid? This is your brake fluid and you need to check that the fluid is somewhere in between the minimum and maximum markers. Can you open the bonnet for me? Tell me how you check you've got sufficient windscreen washer fluid. This is your windscreen washer. You can't even see the tub. So just open the cap and check to make sure you've got enough liquid in there. Tell me how you check the uh, brakes are working before you start a journey. Um, yeah, I'd press the brake pedal to see how it feels. It shouldn't feel loose or slack. It should feel quite stiff. And then when I drive off, if my car pulls to one side, that can indicate a problem with the brakes. Can you tell me where you would find the information for the recommended tyre pressures of this car and how your tyre pressures can be checked? So I would check the manual of my car to find out what my pressures should be. And then when I go to a petrol station, there's normally always an air and a water pump just towards the back of the petrol station. And I can check each tyre individually. Um, ideally, I should check them when the tyres are cold. Can you tell me how you would make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it does provide the best protection in the event of a crash? So I just push my head back into the headrest and uh, I check to make sure it feels supported. Um, the top of my ear should roughly be in the middle of the headrest and if it isn't, I can move it up or down and change it. Can you tell me how you would check the tyres to ensure they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road? So I'd get out the car and check each tyre individually and I need to make sure that there is no cuts or lumps, tears, bulges on the tyre um, and the tread depth cannot be legally any less than 1.6 millimetres. Can you tell me how you would check that the headlights and taillights are working? You don't need to exit the vehicle. So to turn on the lights, I would uh, twist at the end of this stalk and that turns the headlights on. And then I would get out of the vehicle and I check the front lights are working and I check that the rear tail lights are working. Can you tell me how you would check that there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system? A warning light would come up on my dashboard and it would stay on, it wouldn't go off. Can you tell me how you would check the direction indicators are working? You don't need to exit the vehicle. Yeah, I'd um, press my hazard warning light button and that will turn on all of my indicators left and right at the same time. So then I can get out of the car and I'll walk around and check that all the bulbs were working. Can you tell me how you check that the uh, brake lights were working on this car? Making sure the electrics are on, I would press the brake pedal and have somebody stand at the back to tell me if they're working or not. Um, if I don't have any friends, if I'm on my own, then I reverse my vehicle up to like a window or something shiny. And when I press the brake pedal, I can look in my middle mirror and see the reflections of all my brake lights. Can you tell me how you'd check the uh, power assisted steering is working before you start a journey? So whenever your engine is off, the steering wheel is quite stiff and heavy to move. 
but when you turn the engine on it should become a lot looser and lighter um, you'll definitely feel the difference if it didn't then there's possibly a problem with your power steering can you tell me how you'd switch on the rear fog light and also explain to me when you might use it you don't need to exit the vehicle so i'd use my rear fog light when visibility is less than 100 meters and to do that i twist this to put on my dipped beam and then i uh, twist here to turn on the rear fog light can you tell me how you'd switch your headlight from a dipped beam to a main beam and how would you know this is on when you're here inside the car to turn the dipped beam on i twist on this lever and then i push the stick away from me which will activate my full beam and i will know that that's on because a blue light will appear on my dashboard when it's safe to do so show me how you would wash the front windscreen happy to do so. Can you show me how you would wash the rear windscreen? When you're ready, show me how you'd open and close a side window. Not too much, just had my hair done, don't want it blowing everywhere. happy to do so show me how you'd use the horn <laughs> not too loud we don't want to scare anybody 